welcome to the channel everybody today we are going to be continuing on our paragon quest we are getting down to the last couple chapters here and we're going to go ahead and get act 7.4.4 out of the way here now this one is going to be one of the ones that honestly i had some of the easiest times on but let's go ahead and get in here talk about the team talk about the nodes and see how it went so right off the bat here you're going to see that we did bring in Tigrid, Nick Fury, Hercules, Hulk, and Absorbing Man. Uh, fairly straightforward team, easy to look at and see that obviously these are some of the best champions on my profile um, at the time of recording this. And so it was just, you know, kind of playing the path. Um, it, each of them have their own roles and own champions that they're going to be able to take down. And we're going to make it through this pretty easily to be truthful with you so the path we chose here was the superiority path now what this is is if your attacker has class advantage they also gain superiority the and the next node that that's going to apply to is cut your losses now whenever the attacker loses power from power drain burn or steel they are going to get a non-stacking fury uh buff that will increase their attack for 15 seconds. But if you have superiority, those uh, Furies become stackable, so you can actually gain multiple of them. You're also going to have Grudge Tax, which is anytime the Defender puts a debuff on you, they also power burn you for 5 seconds. If you have class advantage, though, the possibility of them doing this is reduced to 50%. So that will come in handy for that superiority as well because of them doing that power burn on you. Uh, also, they have aspects of evolution, which is any time the defender gains a uh, gains power, they also gain attack, armor, crit rating, crit resistance, block uh, penetration, combat power, and ability accuracy being increased by 5%. So this is something to keep in mind because they are going to be constantly getting more and more powerful the longer the fight goes on, especially if they're gaining multiple hours of power throughout it. There's also science ascendancy on this path. Now science champions will receive a 40% increase to their base attack. Mystic champions will have a 40% decrease to their base attack and skill champions will have a 20 percent increase to their base attack for this path you're going to start off with og spider-man followed by loki mr fantastic hood century and then mordo before heading over to the boss island which has a possibility of, of facing either a nihilus mojo or uh, super scrawl now we did go ahead and go with Super Scrawl here. Now for him, he does have multiple nodes on him. Uh, obviously I'm gonna go ahead and show the nodes for the other bosses here. So if you do decide to go with another one, you can look and see what there are and see if maybe they possibly work out a little better for you. Now for Super Scrawl here, he does have bullet time, which is anytime you stun him, he automatically, it, shakes off that stun and be against an evade charge granting him a hundred percent chance to evade your attacks now once he does evade attack it does remove the charge but if you uh, dex one of his basic attacks then you can also remove the charge but this will cause him to get stunned for one and a half seconds he also has stun vulnerability, so keep that in mind that he is going to be easier to stun, as well as if he is stunned, you are going to increase your attack power by 200% during the time of which he is. He also has steady uh, preservation on him, which anytime he does a special, he becomes stun immune. And he has feats of power. 
This does make it so that uh, if he has one bar of power, he gains fury. At two bars of power, he gains precision. And at three bars of power, he gains cruelty. So you're going to want to be aware that you need to make sure you're baiting out those specials consistently so that he isn't gaining all those extra buffs. Now let's go ahead and get into the path here and see how it went for us. Right at the bat here, like I said, we are going to face OG Spider-Man, and we did go ahead and bring in Nick Fury for that fight. Now, obviously, with Nick Fury having class advantage here, we do get all our possible benefits. Um, this is a fairly straightforward fight, even though OG Spider-Man did uh, recently get a buff. We're, uh, we're going to go ahead and pretty much walk through this fight. It's not going to be too much of a challenge here. Uh, we are just going to uh, build up as many bleed charges as we can and just let him go ahead and take himself out for the most part. Um, obviously, we did bring in Valkyrie uh, Relic there so that we were able to go ahead and get him stunned one more time and get directly over to the next fight here with Loki and bringing in Hulk. Obviously, Hulk does have class advantage here, so that's a big thing. We're just going to go ahead and get our Hulk juggle built up here, and we're going to keep him stunned for the most part for the rest of the fight and go ahead and finish him off. You are going to see he does get freed there for a second, but obviously we're already building back up, and we do have the Hulk relic on, so we can go ahead and keep him stunned the rest of the time. Now going over here to Mr. Fantastic, we did fight this one pretty straightforward because we didn't want to take any of those persistent charges on us into a future fight. So we didn't bother to use a special whatsoever, just went ahead and stacked the bleeds, kept him uh, going for as long as possible, brought in Valkyrie to go ahead and get that stun on him, stack a few more bleeds, and that's all she wrote, folks. Back over to Hulk for the hood fight again. Just making sure that we are keeping that stun immune on, or the more appropriately keeping the stun on him for the Hulk juggle there, and just going ahead and moving forward, getting right straight through this fight. Um, didn't go quite as smoothly as the Loki fight did, but still at the same time, for the most part, especially with having the relic available to us, it wasn't that far off, and we didn't have to worry about taking that special three, which was a great advantage. Bringing us back over to another time of bringing Nick Fury in against Sentry here. Again, class advantage, just stack the bleeds, let him uh, go ahead and get most of the way down, and he will go ahead and take care of himself for the most part. Uh, obviously getting that stun and being able to pull out Valkyrie to go ahead and keep him stunned, and we're just applying more bleeds and more damage and watching him go down. Then we go over here to the Mordo fight. Now this is the only one that is going to be a little bit of a caveat because obviously we can't do the Hulk juggle against Mordo because if you do stun him, he's going to immediately pop out of it the second you go ahead and try and hit him, as you see there, and do the degen. So you want to be careful about that. We had to adjust our technique a little bit here, but still we were using Hulk with class advantage. Um, so we were able to go ahead and get most of our damage done. Uh, we did screw up there on the SP2. Should have waited for our opening so that we could have made sure that we connected with that and it would have made a major difference. Catching the second, S uh, second special three there was a little bit more than Hulk could handle. So we did go ahead and bring in Nick Fury just to go ahead and bleed him out and finish him off, which actually worked fairly well. We did unfortunately skip over into our true Nick Fury form and uh, alleviate our uh, LMD, but considering we were going into the boss fight anyways, not a big deal. Brian Tigra here to go ahead and deal with the boss fight. Um, one of the things that I always tend to forget when it comes to Super Scrawl is in spite the fact that Tigra has that ability to miss any projectile object that invisible rock is the exception to the rule there so you're gonna have to keep that in mind if you're gonna use tigra um we did like i said get him down most of the way off of tigra so we went and brought on uh, abs man in here um obviously 
we just recently had leveled him up. Still learning to play him a little bit better. Uh, so I definitely didn't play him to his fullest, but we are going to go ahead and do quite a bit of damage to him on this. We are down to just Nick Fury and, Her and Hercules left after the Absman fight here because we did lose Hulk to Mordo and obviously lost Tigra to that earlier, uh, to the first attempt at Super Scrawl here, but not a big deal. Um, unfortunately, Hercules did not have any feats of strength built up because we didn't need him for the path, but I try not to use him too much anyways, just because I don't always like to just instantly cheese Hercules. I know he is the answer to almost everything, but at the same time, you can see here without the feats of strength build up, he did get caught a little bit there, so we did have to finish him off with Nick Fury there. But that's all it wrote, guys. This is one of the few levels that I've went through without even having to revive whatsoever. We did heal up a little bit on the path, but that was just all that we needed to do. And we were able to get through that fairly quickly, fairly simply, and on to the next one. As a matter of fact, the entire time period from the start of this fight to uh, from the start of this level all the way to the end, including revives and everything, took me less than 17 minutes to get through. So that's something to keep in mind. This one is not difficult, especially if you have good champions that have class advantage of the champions on the path here. And like I said, Super Scrawl gave us a little bit of trouble there, but all in all, we were so healthy by the time we got to him, we just went ahead and rolled through our champions and took him down. So that one was pretty great. By the time you get to this point, if you, if you can get through this level real easily, you're on to the last two. We'll be talking about those in videos over the next couple of days and getting those out so we can help you guys finish earning that Paragon title as I already did right before 4th of July. If you haven't had a chance, go ahead and check out our 4th of July opening. We did pull some great things out of that that did quite a bit of advancement for our account. And that is going to bring us into several things coming up in the future. Um, starting next week, obviously, we'll be done with the Paragon series, giving us all titles on the channel available. So we'll be going ahead and starting a new account to see how far we could get from a day one all the way to a banquet event. To see what if you brought a new friend, new family member, or new loved one into the game, they could do to get themselves into a good position going into December. Obviously, it's a lot better than it was when a lot of us started in the earlier days. You can gain champions a lot faster than you ever have. We did finish up the tournament. I do want to congratulate e raise for uh, winning the tournament. Uh, we did talk about that in yesterday's video. Make sure you check out that video and the link to his channel, which is in the description of that video. He definitely do, uh, could, would appreciate some new subscribers. Also, check out any of the other uh, YouTubers that participated in our event, such as Triple Z or Dimensional Dreaming, because they are also some great guys. We'll be having another tournament, and not this next Battleground season, but the one after that. During the next Battleground season, if you'd like to go ahead and reach out to me anytime between now and the end of that one, I'll be taking the entries to set up for that next tournament, and we're going to go even bigger. I'll be getting out a little bit of information on how the tournament did go for people over the next week or so, and I do appreciate everybody for all the support, not only with the tournament, but with the channel, and I hope everybody's doing great, getting their account growing, and having a great time and i will see everybody back for the next one peace out